Hi, I'm Jordan Harris, and in this video I'm going to go over all the features of the Fractal Audio AxeFX 2, the Kemper Profiling Amplifier, and the Line 6 Helix to help you decide which one is best suited for you and your playstyle. I'm going to play some clips of each of the three units side by side later on in the video, but first I'll give you a quick rundown of what each unit is. So first off, the AxeFX 2 by Fractal Audio is a guitar unit which is designed to replicate your entire rig. The unit contains hundreds of amps, cabs and effects which you can then mix and match in any way you want to create any sort of sound you like. The way it works is that you have a, a grid on the display which then you can put in blocks which could be a cab or an amp or an effect of some kind and then you build up a chain by yourself like you would in real life with your actual rig. So first you might have in the chain a overdrive pedal which then goes to an amp and then a cab and then some effects. The XFX2 is known for its crazy routing capabilities which allow you to mix and match amps and effects in pretty much any way you want. The XFX is a really advanced and intricate piece of hardware and because of this it can be quite tricky to get the hang of because there's so much detail in the way you can affect your tone inside the XFX. The interface on the actual unit is also a little tricky to get the hang of with the display not being that detailed and the navigation not that straightforward. Although they have made a piece of computer software which makes editing your tones miles easier. The AxeFX 2 is really good for all styles of music as it can replicate clean amps, distorted amps, crazy effects and they're all really high quality as well. One thing that I've found with digital pieces of hardware is that high gain tones especially seem to lack in a lot of units as it can be quite tricky to replicate the analog driven sound but I, th I find that the Axe FX is very good at replicating an authentic high gain tone which is why a lot of metal players choose to use the Axe FX. It is very expensive though with it retailing about £2,400 at the minute in the UK which is pretty much double what the other two cost. So the AxeFX is a 2U rack unit only and that's the only model you can get. So if you want to play live you can use a MIDI foot controller or you can get the Fractal Audio foot controller as well. Which I have to say is a fantastic piece of gear which I'd highly recommend getting if you do have an AxeFX and play live a lot. So the Kemper profiling amplifier works in a slightly different way. Instead of having the approach of having everything inside the box with all the amps and cabs already in there from the start. Instead, its main selling point is the fact that it can profile amps. So it's aimed at players who have dozens of amps and cabs and want to downsize so that they can have all their amps in one unit which they can use to play live or to save money by selling them and still having the, the tones at their disposal to use. The Kemper retails for around £1,400 at the minute, I think it is. So the way it works is once you profile an amp in the unit, you'll have that sound inside which then you can play through, which then sounds pretty much exactly the same as if you were playing the amp. This is a really good idea because it means that if someone on the other side of the world who has a very specific and unique amplifier that you like the sound of, you would never be able to get that if you were using one of the Helix or the XFX because it's their amp and it's unique to them. But if you had a Kemper, then you could get them to profile that and send you the profile over and it would be like you had that amp. The Kemper interface is really easy to use. On the unit you can clearly see the pedal section, the amp, cab and your EQ section and then the effects, which then you can go into easily and edit how you like. It's very user friendly and quite easy to pick up if you're not used to digital units, I think. Although as the profiles are of a specific amp at that time of playing, you can't tweak them beyond a certain point, which some people might not like if you're really into tweaking absolutely everything and getting the exact tone that you want. The effects as well aren't anywhere near the axe effects in my opinion, but if you're a person who isn't that interested in effects and just wants the fantastic amp tones, then the Kemp is definitely for you. The amp tones again are fantastic from cleans to high gains and compared to the axe effects, I think they're pretty on par. They do sound different, but one isn't worse than the other, I'd say. It's just down to personal preference. There isn't that much difference between the two, I don't think, in terms of the actual amp tones. In terms of effects, the Axe FX is definitely far superior, I think. And as well with the Kemper, you can't change the routing order of the chain, so it's very much set in stone that you have to pedal section the EQ and the amp and cab and then the effects and you can't really edit that, whereas the XFX you can link effects from all sides of the chain and route them all to certain parts and all that crazy stuff. But then again, if you're not the sort of person who's into that sort of thing, then it won't make that big a difference to you. So although with the Kemper there might not be as many advanced routing options, you do have access to technically an endless supply of different amplifiers, with people profiling theirs and uploading them to Rig Exchange. The Kemper doesn't have any software on the computer which you can use to edit it, which is a bit of a pain, 
although it doesn't necessarily need it as it's quite user friendly. So the Kemper comes in either a 3U rack unit version or the toaster version which stands on its own and you can get either of those with a built-in power amp for an extra 400 pounds I think it is. So which the XFX and the Helix don't have so if you wanted to play through a cab you have to invest in a power amp. The Kemper also has a dedicated foot switch which they developed as well similar to the Fractal Audio one. One of the big arguments that people have between the Kemper and the Axifex is that the Axifex is double the price of the Kemper and is it worth that price difference? And hopefully you'll be able to decide that after watching the rest of this video. The Helix is a relatively new piece of gear which was developed by Line 6. So the Helix comes in either a floor version or a rack version and you can get an extra floor foot controller for the rack version if you like. It works in a pretty similar way to the Axe FX where you have a grid and you can route everything the way you like. One of the main standout things about the Helix is the interface, I think. It's quite a simple interface, there's not that many knobs or controls on it, but just the way it works is very user friendly and although some of the stuff you can do is quite advanced, it doesn't feel intimidating at all. It's quite clearly set out. The Helix floor version at least is designed to be an all-in-one unit which then people can use for studio use, live use and it's just this one box which you can take everywhere and do everything with. You can easily edit each block in the grid by just tapping your finger slightly on one of the foot switches which then selects it and then you can use any of the knobs underneath the screen to tweak the parameters of that effect. The build quality of the Helix is pretty rock solid as well and the design is very modern which I like. The Helix has very good effects, which I'd say are better than the Kemper, but not quite as good as the Axe FX. Although, the amp tones can be a bit lacking in areas. The clean and crunch tones that you can get out of the Helix are very good, but the high gain tones I feel are a bit lacking and sound quite digital at times. When comparing a few of the different amps inside the Helix, I found that they didn't quite have as much variety as the Kemper or the Axe FX, and they all had a sort of similar digital gain sound, which you'll hear soon when I play clips of each of them. I found that the cab impulses inside the Helix aren't the best, but you can import external impulses into the unit, which I'd highly recommend if you have one. If you buy some aftermarket impulses like the own hammer ones, I know are quite good. If you use some like that, it can really improve the sound of the Helix. The Helix retails for about £1,200 roughly at the minute as well, which is the cheapest of the three, but definitely doesn't make it the worst. The fact that the Helix is a floorboard makes it really good for live use, and if you wanted the Kemper or the Axe FX for live use, you'd have to invest in a foot controller as well, which can cost quite a lot, especially when you're paying for the full price of the unit. The way that Line 6 approached the manufacturer of the Helix as they chose to inspect each individual component of the amp and then replicate it digitally, which is a similar sort of way that Fractal approached the Axe FX. The Helix also has some dedicated software on the computer as well, similar to the Fractal one, which allows you to edit on a computer rather than on the unit. So all three units have a dedicated exchange online where people can upload their tones and share them, and you can use this to download other people's tones and use them yourself. So now I'm going to play some clips of each of the units side by side, and for this comparison I'll be using my Stramberg Bowden OS 6 which has a Seymour Duncan Jazz and a Seymour Duncan JB pickup. Okay, so here I've just got a few different amps. I've got the 5150, uh, Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier, a uh, Fender Twin and a Fender Champ, and I've just recorded quick clips of each. Um, the Kemper, the Axe FX and the Helix going through each. So, first off, here's a 5150, but the, this is a Kemper. <laughs> And then this is Axe FX. And Helix. So they all are quite different. But um, I just mix and match cabs to sound to find ones that sounded quite similar. The the Kemper and the Axe FX both sound good to me, but the Helix, the gain sounds a little bit digital to me. It just sounds more like a like a plug-in, like a I don't know. It just doesn't sound quite as authentic to me as the first two. Uh, let's go on to the Mesa Boogie. This is a Kemper, by the way. This is Axe FX. And he 
Helix. Again, they sound quite different, different, different. But um, I'll just leave it up to you to see which one you prefer out of them. Um, these are just one. This is just my amp settings and one of the cabs. If you change around the cabs, they'll sound completely different. I just got a quick, a quick test of each, just so you can actually hear what the actual units sound like. Okay, so moving on to Fender Twin. This is I uh, Fender Twin, but I'd slightly driven to get a bit of crunch. So uh, this is the Kemper first. Sounds nice. And this is the Axe FX. And Helix. I did add a bit of reverb on this just so you can, just so it sounds a bit nicer. It's just either uh, a spring or a room, I can't remember which it was, on each of them. Uh, this is the Helix. Sounds good as well. They all sound good. The Helix for me, however, it sounds a little. Um, the, the, the gain again, the the slight drivenness to it, just it doesn't feel quite natural to me. I don't know. It might just be me. It, it might sound good to you, but that's just the way it sounds to me. Um, so this is a uh, Fender Champ, but it's roll back, so it's quite clean. This is the Kemper. effects and the helix So for the clean tones, they all sound very similar, especially this last one, the Axe Effects and the Helix sounded really similar to me. But um, when you start driving them a bit more, I feel like the Helix kind of, that digital sound kind of comes out in it. But I try, um, I looked into getting some external cab impulses and that really does help. I didn't use them for this just because I wanted to use the stock sounds. They're all good, it's just down to personal preference, I think. So I just wanted to do a quick sound test just so you could hear what they all sound like. So as you can hear, there's not a drastic difference between the three, and it's all down to personal preference, I think. In summary, I'd say go for the Kemper if you're interested in really good amp sounds, but art is fussed about having crazy effects going on. And also if you own lots of amplifiers and cabs and want to downsize and have everything in this one unit. I'd say go for the Axe FX if you like lots of crazy advanced routing options and effects. And also if you have lots and lots of money to invest in this piece of gear. I'd say go for the Helix if you want an all-in-one unit that can be used live and in the studio. But I'd also recommend to pick up an aftermarket cab impulse pack as this can really help improve the sound of the Helix. Overall, it's all down to personal preference and what you think will be best suited to you. As you've heard in the clips, there aren't that much difference between the three, so it's all about your workflow and the way you prefer to make your tones and play. For me, I used to own a Kemper and then ended up selling it for the Axe FX, because I'm the sort of person who likes to tweak and have lots of effects going on. But again, I think all three units are great and it's all down to personal preference. So thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you decide which unit would be best suited to you and your needs. If there's any other pieces of gear you'd like me to compare, then just let me know in the comments and I'll try my hardest. Thanks!